Hello, gentle viewers. This is Avindian, welcoming you to a new episode of Out of the Park Baseball 19, or OOTP 19. Mm, I don't know about that one. Um, so as a quick recap, we won 101 and 61 last season, which sounds pretty impressive. But we got bounce out of the first round, which isn't so impressive. Um, hopefully, we can make some changes and improve things going on down the road. Um, we're going to start our offseason, and we're going to make some decisions about where people fit in the organization. Uh, as always, uh, you're 19. I think it's time to put you in the minors where you can continue to develop. Other than that... Okay, Jose Ayala. This is a pretty impressive rookie campaign. Um, we know that he normally won't have a lot of power, but what he is is a good defensive shortstop. Um, I'm willing to give him a test in single A. Um, Tyler Clippard is 20. He had some positive signs, but I don't like that walk rate. But we're not looking for someone to be in the majors just yet, and so he can be promoted as well. Uh, Brian Bannister is 25 years old. Um, he's now had two years in rookie ball. If he's going to ever make a major league roster, he's going to have to get promoted. Lyle Bigby is a weird player because... He basically is what he is ever going to be. But I think he's earned a trip to single A. And Johnny Couch, sure, we can promote him to. Uh, Les Hermond already looks like he's not going to turn out to be a major league quality player, which is fine. Um, nobody's perfect. All right. So that's it for moving people from rookie to A ball. Now let's see about promoting from A ball. Juan Swoboda absolutely destroyed A ball. I mean, there is no getting around this. He dominated. He's going straight to double A, no questions asked. Oh, let's also check our. Oh, I don't have a new scout yet, do I? That should have been first. All right, we need an exceptional scout. Now, Josh. Really good at the amateurs. Favors ability. Um, I do like someone with a little bit better here. Let's scout for scout ratings. Let's start with let's start with the ability to scout for amateurs. I mean, it really does seem like Josh Chech is the best choice. I would like a little bit better on international, but I like the fact he doesn't have an extreme preference. So I think we're gonna go ahead and pick him up. A five-year deal sounds wonderful to me. Okay, back to the roster screen. Let's check stats. Did anyone have a superior year in rookie ball and therefore deserves to be promoted purely based on that? John Dub, this is his third year in rookie ball. If he doesn't get promoted now, he'll never get promoted. Uh, Jesse Garcia's earned a promotion. I'm mostly looking for war. Uh, if you get two or three war in my book, you get promoted. Especially in rookie ball where it's a shorter season and it's harder to accumulate stats. Okay. Uh, Ayala just got promoted. Uh, so we're not going to mess with him. Same with Clippard. Um, Harry Kraft was reasonably good. Um, his bat isn't going to play in the higher minors without some improvements. But I think we can promote him. I think he's earned it. 
Reed Oldham had a pretty fair season. I don't like the home run rate, but that's an issue with him. He's a fastball pitcher who doesn't throw that hard. 90 to 92 is not ideal. And his movement sucks. So we'll promote him, but I doubt he'll ever get major league playing time. He doesn't seem like that kind of guy. Um, Adilson Herrera had another outstanding year. I'm going to promote him. Um, I'd like Ham here to get some more experience. Actually, you were in AAA not long ago. I guess we can go ahead and put you in AA. Uh, Sugarcane can get promoted again. Mostly because of his name, let's face it. And then let's check statistics and see if there's anyone who just had a phenomenal year. Like a Darren Bloody Hanscom. That's a fine year. Promoted. Denny Gonzalez. Promoted. Ricky Renderos. Promoted. Daniel Galvez. Promoted. Pedro Mendoza promoted, although he's getting borderline already. Okay. Uh, Clyde King had a pretty good start in Dola. Kept his home runs under control, good number of strikeouts. Happy with promoting him to AAA, even at 18. Um, Kraft just got promoted, so Bodie just got promoted. What about Brian Abbott? Abbott is an issue. I'm going to tell you why he's an issue. Because his raw rating numbers don't suggest that this performance level is sustainable. I'm going to promote him because he's already 25. And because I think he might someday make something of himself. Now, Denny Gonzalez had a full year in double A. Or excuse me, full year. Oh, he just got promoted to double A. He hasn't actually played in A yet. Okay. Arias played for Brownsville. He's already losing a little bit. And I don't think he's got a huge future, if I'm honest with you. And I always try to be honest with you. We'll check performance. Ricky Chavez has definitely earned a promotion to AAA. Casey Black, yes. Brad Barrett, he is 27. We can give him a shot. Definitely Brian Wall Weber. Paul Fechter, where do you go? Promoted. A uh, definite promotion for you. Okay. Now, who's ready to compete at the major league level in the minors? The first question we have to ask ourselves is which spots, if any, are going to be open? And for that, we need to look at salary arbitration numbers. Okay. Uh, I am not offering J.J. Curry a qualifying offer. He would be the biggest form of moron to pass that up. He can leave happily. Larry Ellingson is an interesting situation. Former MVP, two fantastic years, but he got hurt. And any kind of long-term deal has to be predicated on the fact he got hurt, which means he may get hurt again. I'm not going to try to sign him long-term. I'm just going to offer him a one-year deal through arbitration and see how he bounces back this year. TJ Bill is a reasonable offensive player who doesn't, uh, who otherwise isn't that great. He's not a very good fielder when he does field. I'm just going to go ahead and non-tender him. Finally, we have Dan Sullivan. 
Dan Sullivan is a decent hitter and a decent catcher. So to in order to make a decision on Dan Sullivan, we need to determine if any catcher is ready to take his place if we did get rid of him. Jack Bliss is clearly the better hitter and clearly the better defender. So he's clearly the starting catcher. The question then becomes, is it worth spending $6 million on a backup? Because his his skill set is very strange for a catcher and that he hits for power and contact but can't hit homers and doesn't draw enough walks. This is about the best batting line we can expect. So we have two catchers who are now in AAA, Masarocco and Borgman. And I hate to say it, but every single time he's been promoted, Masarocco has dominated. I definitely think he's earned a shot at the major league job. What about Borgman? Borgman hit a hiccup in Triple A. I think partly because he didn't get very much playing time. So yeah, I think we're probably... What can I get for trading Dan Sullivan? I don't want to non-tender him. Would anybody offer me a decent prospect for him? We're getting some offers... And then we'll promote Messerocco to be backup catcher. We're getting a lot of offers, but we have to realize that some of these players may not be very good. Okay. All right. Ed Roebuck is potentially a very good relief pitcher. Is anyone worth 60 or above? Farquhar is kind of close. Okay, Dewey Robinson is worth a 65. He is a fantastic relief pitcher. I would be very... I would be happy to have him on our team. So that's one possibility. Okay. Let's look just at hitters. Because if already if if we're gonna take a pitcher, we're gonna take one. We're gonna take Dewey Robinson. He's the best choice. But I'm gonna shop him again to see what I can get just from hitters. Okay, one option is Jason Larue, but Jason Larue is not that great a catcher. And frankly, catcher is not a position I'm particularly shallow at. McLaughlin's just weird. Um. I think we're going to go ahead and make a move for Dewey Robinson. Ryan Ludwig, if his power fully develops, would be an interesting choice, but I don't think it will. Reed Johnson doesn't draw walks. That's a big turnoff in my point of view. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab Dewey Robinson. And then um, we're going to try to get maybe another couple of interesting players out of it too. But this is about me not wanting to pay $7 million for a player who's not going to start. That just seems a bit wasteful to me. Oh, I didn't even see Erica Godel. Ah, uh, that's good. Godel's problem is he has pure potential. If he develops, he's going to be really solid. I don't think he necessarily will, though. I'd like someone a bit more polished. And Dewey Robinson is a lot closer. Ooh, there's also you. Uh, again, very, very raw. Yeah, Dewey Robinson is, I think, the closest to making good on his stuff. So we're going to go ahead and trade for him. And we're going to see if we can get you to throw someone else in. Would you throw in Reed Johnson? No, you say you want more. Reed Johnson's probably too much of an ask. What about Jack McGeechee? 
I like his offensive tool set. What would I have to add? A crappy player? Done. I'm just going to take the steal as is. I'm not going to get too deep into it. Wow. I had no idea people like Dan Sullivan so much. That's a bit of a bummer. But it's okay. Um, It's fine. I'm going to go ahead and give you the rare offseason promotion, Devin, Devin Masarocco. I think you're a good combination with Jack Bliss. Uh, I do want a couple more outfielders. I feel that outfielder is an area we're a little bit weak in, and I don't have any outfielders ready to go. Randy Jackson is an interesting bat without a place to play, which I can also say about Ed Cogswell, who's also far more accomplished. And we only need one DH. Hmm. Alright, let's call that for now. And let's just sim ahead a bit and see what happens. Excellent. Uh, who got a gold glove? Elozaris, again, that's what, three years in a row? Nice. Uh, platinum stick. Yeah, fucking Juarez is the platinum stick. Oh, uh, Tim Rank made it. That's kind of that's kind of a shame. Uh, my outfield did not make it, however. Steve Clark did though. Omaha wants to give me a bad shortstop in exchange for a fairly reasonable reliever. The answer is no. Uh, Mosley got Cy Young. And Juarez got MVP. That's really all you can ask for in a season. Let's go up to the arbitration hearings. Oh, right, I gotta pull people off. So, let's examine the team for a moment. What are we lacking? We're lacking good secondary outfielders. Um, Dave Griffith was kind of a bust last year. Um, for a guy who was basically our full-time DH, he didn't hit enough. I think I'm going to let the manager sort it out. I'm going to promote Cosgill, or Cogswell, sorry, and then see what happens. Let's wait till spring training, though. Okay. You would be a bit old. Oh, wow. Oh, that's right. You were a, a trade guy, weren't you? Oh, yeah. You're definitely going straight to double A. Mikichi single A. And the rest is fine. Yeah, this is Cogswell's year, I think. We're going to give him the old college try. How did Adam Eaton do in his first in AAA? He struggled a little bit. He needs to get a full year in the minors before I think he'll be ready. Let's go up to the arbitration hearings. Again, we're really looking for... What would Ellingson want, just out of curiosity, to sign for a longer-term deal? He wants a shit ton of money. If, he, if I knew he was healthy, I would sign this deal. Maybe. But the thing is, I don't know that he's healthy. So I'm just going to go with arbitration, and we'll worry about signing him long-term later.
Wait, how did you rule in favor of the player if you gave him exactly the same? Do we basically say the same thing? I don't know. We could use an upgraded shortstop. Um, that's the other position we're really kind of weak at. And it's a position we don't have a lot of help coming in the near future. I mean, there is Phil Lewis, who's at least a very good hitter if he's not a very good shortstop. But where did Phil Lewis go? Oh, I see. It's needing to recalculate based on the scout. That makes sense. Um, Randy Jackson, maybe as a third baseman at some stage. Um, we do have the Rule 5 draft coming up. Who do we want to add that is not already added? If someone claims Jared Hill, they claim him. Same for Brian Abbott. These aren't really unique players that we have a chance to make something of. Um, I don't think there's anyone lower on that lower in the minors that I need to be concerned about. Okay. So I have how much money to spend? 19 million. I've got quite a bit. So there is no reason at all I can't get an elite shortstop if that's what I want to get. So let's immediately just sort down to batters and see what we've got as an option. Uh, I will happily offer Mario Nieto a minor league deal. I won't even hesitate. Why is Jose Zamora so highly rated? He's a good hitter, but not a great one. He's stupidly expensive. I am not spending that kind of money. I'm just not. Now, John Drews, on the other hand, is a very good defender. His bat might be subpar, but he's a much likelier chance to be an upgrade. Or there's Dusty Tomlinson. Oh, I could get me some Dusty Tomlinson. He's a slick fielder. He's got enough offensive attributes that I think he can be useful. We're going to offer him a contract. Two-year deal, sure. What other positions are we weak at? All right, we did say we wanted one more outfielder. Not a starting outfielder, mind. Someone who can fill in every now and again. I would happily sign him too. Again, we're not looking for players to dominate. We're looking for players to fill in when we need them to. Barrios is a really good defensive center fielder. He doesn't want much money. That's, that's a slam dunk solution to our problem. Again, we're just filling in gaps right now. We're not going to make elite leaps, uh, in my opinion. Oh. Okay, Chris Chavez is a pretty good hitting shortstop. I don't really want to lose Bob Cooney, but they're actually taking Dave Griffith off my hands. Can I get you to eat more of his deal? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to retain any of his deal. I'm going to make this deal. This makes perfect sense to me. I mean, Cooney was okay, but he's not so good that I can't replace him. Let's make the trade.
It is only a one-year deal. But he's a quite he's quite a good shortstop, and I think he'll be a nice fit on this team. And I'm still going to get some reinforcements too. We got Mario Nieto, nice. Um, we're going to promote Clyde King. He's going to get the spot on the pitching staff that was opened up. I was going to promote him anyway. We might as well do it now and get it over with. Um, Phil Lewis could be a good solid shortstop for years to come. I just want to make sure he gets some seasoning in AAA before I rush him. And I'm pretty sure there's literally no one to vote for. Yeah, there's no one is eligible. Oh, right, derp. Welcome, Chris. <laughs> How much money is Boreas asking for? That's fine. That's not that much more than what I offered you. Ooh. He's offering us a very good pitcher now, who is admittedly about to arbitration, for Eaton, and they're roughly equivalent, and Magichi. I can't make that deal. We'll go up to the Rule 5 draft. And we're just going to take a real quick scan and make sure there's nobody really good that we might want to add to the 40, man. The answer to that is no. I don't know there's going to be anyone worth acquiring either, but you never know. No, Ben Scott's never really going to make it. Mike Pacheco would be an interesting acquisition. But I don't know that we desperately need another right-handed hitting reliever, so I'm just going to go ahead and pass. Or right-handed hitting outfielder. Why did I call him a reliever? I don't know. Okay, we did get Dusty Tomlinson. So we've got a quality backup shortstop. We can also play some second. All right, we better promote him, shouldn't we? We have so many shortstops right now, you guys. Just so many shortstops. Um, yeah. Which I guess is better than the alternative, which is, you know, not enough shortstops. And we ended up getting Boreas, too. This is one of the things we can freely do because we are one of the wealthier teams. We can sign up these veterans that other teams wouldn't even take a chance on. Because we have the money and we are in this win now mode. No one was eligible. Financials. Nice. I'm going to put another $10 million into our development budget. No, actually, let's put $5 million into each. 13, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 17. There we go. Because we don't need the free agent, so this is basically wasted money if we don't spend it. And I'd like to make sure that we keep developing new players as much as pioneering new ones. OK, 
Okay. Spring training begins. Now, Ed Cogswell, you are getting a spring training shot. Um, Nachlan Borgman, yes, Phil Lewis. Yes, Randy Jackson. Adam Eaton? We can give him a go, I guess. Swoboda is an issue that I don't know how to solve right now, so I'm just not going to bother. Plus, it's a 37-player roster for spring training. I think that's totally reasonable. Let's sim one week. Ellingson still isn't healthy. But he should be back in just a few days, though. Want to make sure he gets his spring training reps in. A fucking setback? Are you shitting me? This is not a little setback. This is another nine freaking months. I've lost you for two consecutive month years now. And yet you think you deserve six thirty-six million dollars a year. I don't think so, buddy. That is a huge kick in the junk. Um, no. I hope you get better, Guzman. Damn it, Ellingson. Of all the freaking years to get injured. He's going to have a good eye, but not much of a prospect. That's fine. All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do, Kingson. Ellingson, rather. Oh, no. You are not getting... You're not getting a top-notch salary. Why on earth would I ever agree to that? It boggles the mind that you think for a split second that I'd offer you $40 million a year when you've been injured most of... All of last year and most of... And all of this year, too. Um, you're a pitcher. I don't want to fuck around with you. Let's just go ahead and put you on the DL, unless you recover. All right. So let's start making decisions. Mike falls out for three more months. It's whatever. Um, okay, so we've got 26 players, 16 of these are pitchers. We need to get rid of three to four of them. A bargain can go down to the miners. Cherokee Fisher can go to the miners. Uh, Joe Patterson can go to the miners. How many pitchers does that give us now? 13. I'm going to go ahead and wave Sakali. If someone takes him, they take him. But I just don't think he's a good fit for this pitching staff. Oh, this is with Adam Eaton making the roster? I don't want Adam Eaton on the major league roster. I want him to start in the minors. So yeah, we will actually bring Joe Patterson back up. Okay, that's our pitching staff. Hopefully that'll get sorted here in just a second. Uh, meh. Okay. Lineup. We've got to shed four more players. We have way too many shortstops. We just do. So Phil Lewis is going right back to the minors. You had your chance, Danny and Macias. So you're going back to the minors.
Would you accept a demotion? You would. Okay. I guess Lindfors, because look, we've got Tomlinson to serve as a backup, and he can handle it pretty damn well. So I guess this means, even though I didn't intend it, Randy Jackson's going to make the roster. So Cogswell goes on the 40-man, Randy Jackson's going to make the 40-man for now. I do not love our outfield situation. Let me tell you, I do not love it. Boreas was to be an above-average backup, not the starting center fielder. I am fine with all um, with most of the rest of the team, but that is rough. Are there any interesting players left in free agency, especially outfielders? Not really. I'm just going to put you on the minor league roster. And Gentil also. You can both go to the minor league roster. Let's sum up to opening day. Man, losing Ellingson really hurts. Oh, I gotta disable that stupid crap. I forgot. Oh, I also didn't adjust the scouting budget. Oh, shit. Okay, it keeps the same things. Good. Good, good, good. All right, so what's our team looking like? Uh, Cogshaw is the everyday DH, which I thoroughly approve of. Then Elizares, Juarez, Pena. Clark hitting sixth. He won't like that, but there's not much we can do about that. Bliss, our starting catcher. Chavez, Barrios. I really wish we had a little bit more depth. I wish I weren't paying you so much money, Pena. I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. This was a pretty ridiculous sum for me to pay. I should have had more courage than just cut you loose. Uh Sakali cleared waivers so he can go to triple A. Juarez got suspended. Would you seriously quit getting suspended, Juarez? How are you going to keep breaking home run records if you're always injured, huh? You're not. Uh, Gordy Richardson is definitely being added to the roster over Joe Patterson. There's just no question in my mind. A one-week injury is something I'll just live with. Five hits for Jose Ayala. Nice. You got Aaron Harper, sons. And that's probably the only good thing you're going to do. I think we really do need a couple more top flight pitchers. If I'm honest with you, I genuinely think we do need a little bit more depth on the rotation. Okay, let's look at personnel. My contract's coming up. The bench coach's contract is coming up too. 
he's so good developmentally, but a lot of the players actually have a bad relationship with him. Okay, pitching coach. Let's go ahead and lock up our pitching coach. I'm pretty happy with him so far. Oh, I don't want you leaving some. Now, the thing is, we have a hitting coach that fish focuses on patience. I really would like a good contact or good power hitter. But then again, he's also led, like, one of the best offenses in the majors. I think if, if anything earns an extension, that does. But maybe not as big an extension. Maybe just a two-year extension. Um, I like the fact he's good at developing. What would your ability to develop be if you were... You'd get along really, really well with our players. Let's go ahead and lock you up. Let's actually offer all the minor league coaches except the ones that suck. Um, you get an extension. I'm going to give you a three-year deal. Because I think you might get promoted. Kurt Reiser, you kind of suck. I'm just going to let you walk. How is good old Tommy McGreevy? He's okay. We can give him an extension. Definitely want to keep good quality hitting coaches. Uh, Butch Vargas, you can have an extension. Robbie Taylor's interesting. I'm going to lock him up for a very long time. Oh, you probably want to be promoted, don't you? Oh, you've already got an extension. Okay, you're good then. You might be my bench coach next year. And you're only fair, Kelly Brewer. And a lot of your players... Okay, you're pretty much terrible at developing people. That's not great. I'm actually going to promote Robbie Taylor. I want him to be my double-A manager. He's a bit more contentious, so we'll see what happens. But I'd like to give challenge him a bit more and see how he develops. Okay, this is this is fine, as the kids say. All right, next month. A personal message. Pena suspended again. Not Carlos Padilla, who I literally didn't remember until just now. You are having quite a season, Chris Chavez. This is true. It is undeniable. But if I choose between keeping you or keeping Ellingson, I'm probably going to pick Ellingson. But we'll see what happens. I would now have two full months of data. Ooh, Cogswell, Rookie of the Month. Nice. Player development. Anything interesting happen? 
Randy Jackson improved just a bit. That's heartening. Guzman is getting faster, but not really better. Whoa, that's unexpected. Cherokee Fisher putting some heat on his fastball. That instantly makes him a lot more intriguing. Uh, Adam Meaton is just kind of okay at this point, and Casey Black got a little better. And Ed Cogswell is actually the best peer hitter. Nice. Now. Steve Clark's having a down year. Juarez is having a down year. Rest of the team looks like it's pretty solid. Are you seriously benching, benching Pena? Seriously. Oh, Pena suspended. Right, 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 right. Yeah, okay, that's fine then. Okay. Adam Eaton is having a fairly good year. When is Aaron Harper's contract up? I'm going to trade Aaron Harper. I don't think he can... I just... He's too bad at giving up home runs. Uh, I just want prospects. Nobody. Oh, crap. I didn't just want pitchers. I wanted all players. Okay. Evan Butler would be an interesting choice. He's only ever had one good year. But he has a couple of important advantages, not the least of which is the fact that he's done after this year. I'm going to go ahead and acquire him. And he can immediately be promoted to the Major League roster. And then hopefully this means that we give, like, even Copriva, I think, would be a better starter than most of what we've got. Or even Mangiardino could be a pretty good starter. But yeah, I just think that move had to happen. And then that frees up a spot for whichever pitcher is next in the cavalcade of glory. Here's the thing, right? Svoboda is crushing double A. Like, he is too good for double A. I gotta promote him. Even now, early in the season, he's just dominating so much. Oh, let's give Dewey Robinson a little bit more time. And then there's not really anyone else I'm interested in rushing at this point. Phil Lewis is getting there, though. Let's go ahead and sim up another month. Oh, crap. I totally forgot about the draft. Whoopsie. Right, let's begin with the traditional salivating over players I can't possibly acquire. Adam Dunn would be pretty cool. Noah frickin' Cindergard would be an amazing addition. 
there is an awful lot of talent available in the draft. And I'm fairly confident none of it will fall to me. None of the really good talent. Cliff Lee, maybe. Wait, this isn't the Cliff Lee, is it? It is, but he has no stamina. Hmm. There are interesting players available, but I don't know how many of the really good ones are going to fall to me. <gasps> is that Tony Gwynn? It is Tony Gwynn. Hi, Lonnie Smith. Right. Let's 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 worry about who we can actually worry about. Okay. I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. I would do a backflip if we could get Carlos Gomez, but we can't. Oh, Tony Canigliaro. Billy Hamilton. I mean, center field is a huge weakness for us. I can't afford Mike Slattery. I mean... Elozares isn't getting any younger. I'm I'm taking Canigliaro. He's too perfect. Like he's not even a bad center fielder. He's just not a great one. And in all other respects, he would be a fantastic addition to this team. So I'm happily going to draft him. Okay, now it's time to address pitching. Carl Lundgren would be a pretty a pretty solid pitcher right now. As would Ed Summers. I'm going to grab Lundgren. I think he would be a good addition to the team. And I'd like a little bit more insurance in the pitching department. George Heibel is pretty terrible. I'm not sure why he's rated so high. Okay, we've kind of reached the end of the really solid players. Then we see Ray Burris, who I'm happily going to draft as a really solid pitcher. I could get Andrew Miller. Not for that amount of money, I'm not. Uh, Nick Green would be a fairly reasonable pick. Why are you at all rated at 61? What is it about you that makes you special? I see. We like the fact that he's more or less polished. I'm not going to touch him. He's not good enough. Let's take Nick Green. I will also draft Teoscar Hernandez. I like the power potential. I'm 
Okay, let's look at pitching potential. Who's got really good stuff? Okay, Ross Powell would be a pretty special pitcher. And it's a sixth round, so he's free. Bill Ayers, also free. His name is Phenomenal Smith, you guys. I've got to take him. He's phenomenal. Um, let's look at contact. I could take a chance on Scotty Barr. John Mercer. He doesn't do anything except... Ooh. And drafting him's not going to hurt anything. We just won't sign him. And we're going to finish the draft at this point. I don't think there's any diamonds in the rough yet. Who ended up with Hack Wilson? Yeah, Canigliaro is instantly getting promoted the moment he puts ink to paper. And we're just going to have him just kind of figure out center field, at least in the beginning. Let's stop now. I think they've all signed already. Evan Butler wants to come back. How much do you want to come back? You want a fair raise, and I'm not sure you deserve it. All right. Yeah, Robinales, you are trash. Utter, utter trash. Where is Tony C? Bam! Right to the majors. Not a hesitance. Not a not a second's hesitation. I wonder how you're gonna fit him into the lineup. I'm actually quite intrigued. Yeah, that's what you should do. I wouldn't make him the cleanup hitter, but sure. Yeah, this is good. Uh, Carl Lundgren, I'm going to send you to double A. Burst, triple A. Powell, triple A. Uh, Nieto, triple A, Nick Green, A, A, that's fine. Terry Francona is actually doing quite well. I'm impressed. Then we won't rush him out. Uh, go to Triple A. I guess you can rehab. And you can go to AAA Ravenolis. So we've got 37 million for extensions. Who on this roster do we really think is worth keeping another year? That's obviously up. Uh, let's try to lock up Mosley for a bit. I know he's having kind of a crummy year. But he's still one of the best pitchers we've got. 
Can I get you to give me three years at seven million? You're really close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step you up a million, step you up two, step you up three. No. All right, three years, nine million. Good. You're a little overpaid, but not by as much as some others. Um, Ellingson, my man. Okay, this is the kind of deal I would take. Oh, oh, actually, let's wait and see if we're actually still arbitration. We will definitely wait and make that decision. Yeah, Elozares is probably going to get replaced by Canigliaro at some point. Oh no, there's one thing I want to change. I wanted people to be eligible beginning with five years. Or do I? Here we go, no waiting period. As soon as you're eligible, you're eligible. I think that's fair. Because the reason they do that in real life is to make voters think about the players before they vote, but I don't care. I'm happy to consider them right after they retire. That way I don't forget. Man, Swoboda is just destroying things. Cogswell has been a fucking revelation. He's been pretty amazed balls, all things considered. Yeah, all you guys can walk. Cool. Mosley is back in the fold for a few years. Compensation picks. I'm just going to go ahead and designate you for assignment. If someone else claims you, they claim you. I can't do anything about that. So our issue, quote-unquote, next year is going to be, with Chavez gone, we're basically putting a lot of hope that Phil Lewis can handle playing shortstop. Defensively, he probably can't. But I think offensively, he probably could. Would it be the worst thing to bring him back for one more year? What kind of contract are you looking for? Oh, hell no. You're not getting $20 million a year. That's redonkulous. Who the fuck is Clyde King? I didn't sign you, did I? Oh, they've made you into a starter randomly. That's, well, random. I guess that's happened. what happens when you don't give people real starters. I think Adam Eaton's earned a promotion. He's putting up reasonable enough numbers, even in AAA. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and send down Clyde King and call you up. Welcome to the Majors, Adam Eaton. What am I through with you? Okay, good.
You have a proposal of the trade variety, do you, Fort Worth? You're giving me a really great pitcher for a pretty good catcher, a pretty good shortstop. That's too big a package. Rejected. Rejected. Fiddlesticks. All right, Dombrowski All-Star. No other pitcher. That's a downer, but okay. My catcher made the All-Star team. I didn't see that coming. Cogswell is a starter. Clark made it. Pena made it. Chavez made it. Guzman made it. Okay. Maybe it's worth talking to him. I will give you that deal for th for three years. I'm not giving you a longer deal than that. Um, You'd be a competent backup. It's a lot of money, though. Let's try to shave some money off of it going forward. This is good starting catcher money, but it's not good backup catcher money. Would you take that? No. I would genuinely rather pay you more for a shorter period and then just make you the starting catcher for three years. I think that's fine. Because Bliss is likely to keep his value. Oh, Mike Fall. Okay. Because he's so good at drawing walks, it means he's always going to have offensive value. And as long as he can not muck things up too badly behind the plate, he's a perfectly acceptable starting catcher. You really want me to take this guy off your hands? No. Oh, fans really liked Jack Bliss, didn't they? Okay. How do they always know how much I offer my players? It's a mystery. Jim Neeland is a good pitcher. Pat Rapp is not. But you're getting an awful lot. For one good to great pitcher. What if I dropped Guzman from this trade? It would pretty much either be Guzman or Pena. Now let's think for a minute. Would trading Pena be the worst thing? I know he's good. He's been solid this year. He's also 30 plus million dollars. And it gets us a top level pitcher. No, I don't think we can do it. It's an interesting offer, and I wouldn't object to upgrading our rotation, but I, I can't make that deal right now. Juarez, dude, the fuck is wrong with you? 
I mean, the power is still there, but he just can't make consistent contact. And if he's not making consistent contact, he's just not as useful a player. You were the MVP last year, dude. Get your shit together. Player development. Some people are getting worse. A Jack Bliss became a better defensive catcher. That's always nice to see. Cogsville just got pure better. Pena got better. Guzman got better. Ellingson keeps slipping. Canigliaro is already getting worse, which isn't ideal. Yeah, Elazar is probably has one to two more good years left in him. Then we're probably going to have to cut him loose. You're making it extremely difficult to keep you in the minors, Svoboda. You might well make the roster next year. I've been so busy focusing on how the team develops, I actually haven't been paying attention with how good the team actually is right now. Which is actually quite good. It's roster expansion. Butler gives up too many homers to ever be a truly good reliever. And I'm happy to let him go. Did he have like a 30 or 40 homers already? I guess you don't. Okay. Who do we want to put on the major league roster now? Swoboda? Maybe. Borgman's more of a backup. Ray Burris has learned what he can in the minors. I'm going to promote him. Um, I would promote Swoboda if I had a place to start him every day, but I don't. Not right now, anyway. Uh, Carl Lundgren, go to Triple A. Go up to Triple A. Did I end up getting George Heibel anyway, even though I didn't actually want him? Huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and let the AI shuffle up our minor league system a bit. You put Swoboda back in Double A? No, 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 no. Triple A. This is fine for now. I'm not going to argue with it too much. I'm just going to... I don't want to... Ooh. Okay, that's something we have to deal with now. God damn it. Carl Lundgren, you're in the majors. Wasn't my plan. But jerk face McGee had to blow out his knee. Nah, I'm not gonna bench I'm not gonna send you to the minors just for that. Or put you on the DL just for that rather.
You know, it wouldn't be the worst to actually give him a cup of coffee. Let's go ahead. Let's let him get a chance to get better and then call up Swoboda. I'm going to send you back to AAA because you were literally just there while Francona was hurt. Because I can't take away Francona's 2021 season. He's been very useful. And so, yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to question that. We did lose Mesa Rocco for 6 days. And an interesting player development, Lundgren got better. Eaton got a little better. Cogswheel continues to get better. Jackson got a little better. Where are you playing him, by the way? <laughs> Looks like it's mostly pinch hitting. That's fine. Hundred and fourteen and forty eight. That's as they say. Are you shitting me? You get injured now? God damn it. Um Way to pick the worst possible time, you jerk. Yeah, I guess Danny Barrigan wouldn't be a terrible choice. Okay. I don't know why I just clicked on Penn and Chase. I already know I made the playoffs. So what is my playoff roster right now? Who do I want to add to the playoff roster? Uh, Lundgren. Because I do want four starters. And Ray Burris. There we go. That's your postseason roster. Let's see, who am I going to play in the division round? The Boston Patriots. Now, they had a pretty terrible offense this year. But a very good pitching staff. So I have to hope that we can make this a thing. Good, a one to nothing effort. Seven solid innings. Nice work. That's the good stuff right there. If Dombrowski pitches like that, our chances are a lot better. Nine to three. We kind of just clubbed them into submission, which is fine with me. Okay, Jay Phillips wasn't so good. Uh, three runs in the seventh. Kept him a little bit too long. Oh, looks like it was a defensive error. By a three-time Gold Glover, no less. I guess that's what they say. Anything can happen. Okay, seriously, guys? This needs to stop. We should not be letting a team that was 11th in fucking runs ever outscore us. Yep. 12th inning, they scored two fucking runs against Copriva. 
God damn it. Oh, we barely made it, but we did make it. And that was after Dombrowski got left the game. That was tight, you guys. We are really, really hurting for quality relief efforts, unfortunately. That's not great. Um... We're facing the Charlotte Caribou, eh? Now, in a seven-game series, I'm hoping that our weak bullpen won't be tested quite as often. But we'll see. Six to three. Two homers by Guzman. Nice. Another strong offensive performance. Two home runs by Canigliaro. Look at that for a first year. That's not bad. Oh, God, he was... The dirt fucking worst in center field. Oh, wow. Yeah, he made routine plays and didn't make any of the other plays. Oof. Yeah, don't care. Another... You know what? Dombrowski has been on fucking point this entire playoffs. That's what I like to see. Ah, we lost two to nothing. Those are the kind of games that don't really suit us well. Yeah, we couldn't put things together. Boom. We just made the World Series, you guys. And we're going to be facing Baltimore. Okay. And I'll... We were better than Baltimore in both aspects of the game. A lot better in offense. But again, our bullpen is super vulnerable. So it's going to have to guys like Dombrowski and Mosley. Or we could just score 14 runs. That works, too. Oh, who was a League Championship Series? Conigliaro. Nice. Come on, guys. Ooh, that got into the bullpens. Which we barely won. Which generally isn't a great look for us. Man, if I were going to pick, I would make Dombrowski fucking... Playoff MVP. He has been on point every game so far. Uh, Elizara's bitch, it's the playoffs. I don't care how much you have an owie you're playing. Carlson coming through. I can't add you. It's the middle of the playoffs, so deal with it. Uh, we did get beaten. Okay, I'll take him off the DL, but I can't add him to the playoff roster. And a 4-3, 13-inning game. Who got the run in the 13th inning? Guzman, he got himself a double. And that, my friends, is all she wrote. Our second world championship. And that's what it's all about. Um, you know what, Jay Phillips? You're not even playing, so sh STFU. Ooh, I completed all the owner goals. I've never done that before. Okay. We will make one key decision right now, which is what we do with Jay Phillips. I 
How much money do we have right now for extensions? 19 million. If we opt out, we could maybe upgrade and get a really great pitcher. I'm going to void his contract year and wish him the best. We've got a giant budget, people leaving. This is what matters most. Five years, 1.4 million a year. What? That's all I can say is just, what? Uh, thank you for watching. We end this episode on a high note as we capture our second world title. Um, and before we go, we will talk a bit about the team and who turned out well. First of all, obviously, Ed fucking Cogswell was just amazing. Led the league in hits, runs, plate appearances, on-base percentage, and walks. 19 homers, 40 doubles. Not a great first baseman, whatever. Jose Guzman. Just didn't lead the league in anything, didn't need to. Just outstanding up and down. Steve Clark, the Mr. Consistent, puts in another top-notch season. What can you say? It looks like his defense would be slipping just a touch. No, I guess it's still reasonable. Uh, Pena put together a nice little bounce-back type campaign. Still nowhere near his 2018, and I do think he's horrifically overpaid for what he does contribute. But we'll take it. Elizares, 5.4 war. 4.9 war from our catcher. Chris Chavez did a good job filling in a year for sh as our shortstop. I don't know that we'll bring him back, though. That will be a topic of conversation for next season and next episode. He was... Oh, he wasn't great in the field. Tony Canigliaro would be a four-win player in a, cor in a corner. But, ah, oh, so terrible. And we got good contributions up and down the team, actually. Masarocco, uh, a nice little season um, as our backup catcher. Terry Francona. Probably the best 111 at-bats of his entire life. He'll probably never match that again. Uh, Dusty Tomlinson filled in quite nicely. Considered that he was almost as productive as Chavez, he was a little bit less productive than Chavez, but had far fewer at-bats. Pitching. I was wrong. I didn't believe in Dombrowski. He's making me pay for it. This is just an exceptional year for him. Possible Cy Young Award. Mosey was real good. Phillips was real good. Carlson was real good. Uh, we do need more help in the rotation, and I do believe that is coming. Um... Just like full seasons of guys like Carl Lundgren, for example, and Adam Eaton, I think we can make this team even better. Our bullpen was a lot weaker this year, mostly due to losing Mongiardino, who has really never improved upon his 2019 campaign. Like, we look at WPA. Eh. Copri was a weird dude because he throws a lot of innings relatively well, but never really is exceptional. But it is what it is. I would like to upgrade the bullpen a little bit, or at least just figure out what we've got with that, and I think we will do that next episode. For now, though, let's bask in the glory of another World Series title. Two brilliant rookies. We could call ourselves the CNC Connection if you think about it.
the Cleveland Seas. Hmm. Plus, C's, CS also doubles as cesium. Um, not cesium. It's the abbreviation for tear gas, but I can't remember what CS actually stands for. Um, because we make our opponents cry, I think we've just found a team identity. And with that, thank you for watching. And until next time, this has been Avindian, and I bid you good day.